Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Today we're going to be taking a look at Super Splatters from Spiky Snail. First of all, let me say a big thank you to Spiky Snail and my friends over at PixelProspector.com for giving me this copy of the game to take a look at today. Super Splatters normally retails for $10, and it started out its life as an Xbox Live arcade game called The Splatters. So what's so super about Super Splatters? Well, it's a redone version for the PC, obviously. I don't think it's a remastered, so to speak. It's just a little bit of spit and polish, as well as some added difficulties. The developers seem particularly proud of the Steam version, and uh, with good reason. I was really taken aback and caught off guard by this game. I didn't expect it to be great. I expected it to be pretty good, but it turned out to blow my mind. I mean, every now and then a game comes along that really catches me. Something about its hook grabs me, and Super Splatters is definitely that game. I've had this game about 24 hours, and I have dedicated around four hours of gameplay to it in that time. Now, anybody who knows anything about my actual life knows that four hours is pretty much every single bit of free time that I have in any single 24-hour period. So for me to devote it to a single game means that I am in the midst of a love affair, the likes of which the world has never seen. And uh, truly, I am. So not a lot going on here in the options screen. Uh, you can use keyboard or 360. I'm on the 360 pad just because it feels natural to play a game like this with the 360. The uh, PC controls, the uh, mouse and keyboard, seem completely adequate. Uh, video settings, nothing to write home about, uh, but all giving you everything you need uh, in order to actually get the game to play on your system. I want to highlight, though, colorblind mode. Now, I'm not colorblind. I don't actually know anybody who is, but uh, through the uh, osmosis that I have suffered on the internet, uh, just through watching other people and hearing them complain about it, I understand now that colorblindness is a big problem in games, and especially a game like this where color matters. And honestly, as a developer who uh, is making a game that features color, colorblind mode is almost a necessity. It, it, it loses, you know, it's, it's gonna, any development time you lose to figuring out how to make it work is gonna be paid back in the fact that there are gonna be hundreds of people who could not have purchased your game without a colorblind mode who will. And maybe there aren't any statistics to back that up, but I'm making those numbers up, but uh, it just seems like the sort of thing that makes sense, right? Colorblind people can't buy a game, can't purchase a game, can't hope to play a game that's about color. So, yeah, colorblind mode seems like a no-brainer. All right, let's go ahead and get into the game. I really, I can't really describe the game. We need to actually play the game for you to understand. Uh, the only thing I'll tell you is that uh, you play as the splatters, which are these little uh, sacks of, uh, of juice, uh, as it were. And uh, your whole purpose in life is to entertain because you're training for and eventually participating in a television show. And uh, what do splatters like to watch on television? Uh, they like to watch other splatters killing themselves in order to trigger fireworks. And uh, this seems like a really odd sort of society uh, that, that they live in, gladiatorial uh, almost. Uh, but uh, hey, it's what Splatter's like, and uh, they give me stars and points for it. So uh, hey, I'm going to do it. So here is our cast of characters here, our Splatters uh, for our television program. Uh, you can play any Splatter at any time. The yellow Splatter is your, uh, your dojo master, your teacher, who is teaching you all your different powers. Uh, because we're in an early level, he still appears. Uh, because if we were playing this for the first time, he would give us some tips. Uh, this is freestyle mode where you can essentially do whatever you want to do. Do it as funky as you want to do it in an effort to destroy all of the glowing nodules. Uh, for some reason, I like to call those fireworks nodules because they look like a they look like a polyp. They look like something that would be in somebody's you know intestine or in their colon or something. Uh, so <laughs> I call them nodules uh, for whatever reason. That's just a personal uh, oddity of my own. Uh, so how do we uh, how do we blow those up? Well, again, we're gonna spill our precious juices onto them, and yeah, you guys go ahead. Uh, all of the innuendo that you would like, uh, say it out loud, say it to yourself, share it with a friend on Twitter. Uh, yes, you are a sack who must spill his juice on balls. Uh, you guys have a field day with that. I, however, am just gonna stick to playing the game right now. Uh, so uh, the first time through, I'm not really going to try to explain too much to you. I'll kind of give you a little bit here and there. And on the second round, I'll try to explain a little bit more about exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to start here uh, by uh, jumping and then uh, going right into an airstrike, which is and I'm going to say words that you're not going to understand. It's OK that you don't understand. Them. It's not important that you understand them right now. 
And you can see we managed to blow up all of our polyps there, all of our nodules in uh, one splatter, which is good because the more splatters you have left over at the end, the more bonus points you can get. You can see our points accruing in the lower right hand corner in the form of uh, views and stars, because again, you're on a television show. So how many people are watching your television show matters. And in the upper right hand corner, you're going to have stunts. Stunts are what you really, really want to get because stunts are uh, going to increase your points by a whole heck of a lot, far more than just blowing up nodules will. So we're going to jump again into an airstrike. An airstrike is when you fling yourself after a jump. And then we're going to try to uh, do our darndest to finish this off in just one... Oh yeah! So we only took two splatters to finish that whole round. Lots of bonus points, lots of bonus views. That is absolutely great. So uh, we can move to any uh, splatter at any time. Uh, so very often they'll start you on a splatter that is uh, is a good splatter to start with. But sometimes if you want to get funky and you want to try to get your own unique take on a level, you might want to move over to a different splatter to start with. So for instance, I can move over to this guy and I'm going to get a whole different game here if I start with him as opposed to starting with one of these other guys throughout the rest of the level. So uh, yeah, let's actually try to start with Red here. I don't think I've ever tried to start with him before and see how much damage we can do. So you can fling yourself from a standing position. That's what that little arrow means, is that arrow erects itself out. Uh, that means that you are going to fling. You're going to shoot yourself. Uh, but if you have no arrow, then you're gonna jump. Uh, well, no, excuse me, if you have no, if you have, uh, excuse me, clarification. <laughs> If you have the nodule out, if you have the, excuse me, nodule, if you have the uh, arrow out and you tap, you're going to jump in that direction. If you hold, you're going to launch in that direction. I don't know what happens when you just press uh, the action button with, uh, with nothing. Uh, nothing happens. So you actually have to be pressing in a direction in order to trigger something. So clarification on what I'm trying to say there is uh, apparently I'm new to the English language and describing things. So having a little bit of difficulty talking. So let's start with a brief jump into a fling. Oops, okay, again, jump into a fling is called an airstrike. And there we have it. And then we're going to try to reverse direction here. You can flip reverse direction, all kinds of cool stuff, in an effort to destroy as many as possible. So a nice big combo there. I like that uh, quite a bit. That worked out as a good good start there. So uh, we've got red pretty well in hand, so let's move on to blue. Again, we're going to start with a jump into a fling. That's going to give us an airstrike. We're going to fly around here, try to detach as many of these as we can. We're going to reverse direction, and then we are going to fling ourselves. Looking good. Uh, that was a nice, nice start there. Uh, blue now in pretty good pretty good position. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So let's try to do whatever we can here to finish off this red grouping. Let's pop around here and just focus on coating these things in our juice. Juicing them up. And we got all of them in one splatter. Very good. We still have uh, three reds and uh, several blues on the screen here. So what do I want to try here? Uh, you know what? I'm going to try to get a little tricky here. I'm going to start with this guy. We're going to jump into an airstrike which should detach that. And then we are going to fling ourselves like so, which should coat everything. And yes, I have destroyed all the blues. We got our three stars. We got a pretty darn good score going for ourselves, uh, though not great, because I can already tell you that's not gonna be a top 100 score on the scoreboards. And there we have it. So it took one more red for us to finish up couple more stunts in there, get some nice bonuses for our remaining splatters, and let's see where our score ends up. Count those stunts up one by one. 402,000, actually pretty good. That's nearly top 100, I think. Uh, well, it's not going to tell us because we've already got a previously uh, top 100 score on there. So, hey, not too bad. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, we are seeing again here uh, all of the things that we did. We've got the number of stunts that we did. We've got the uh, we got the views. We've got our stars. Uh, we've got our trophies. We've got our friends scores. And uh, the reason that I really wanted to make a video about this game is because of this right here, this friend score. I'm, I'm pointing at my screen, uh, but you guys can't see that. <laughs> so, the friends score box here in the lower right hand corner. What do you notice when you look at that? Uh, there's just one person in it. I've got almost 100 people on my friends list and nobody I know has played this game or owns this game. That is an absolute travesty because this game is great. I'm going to try to do something to actually remedy that. I've got a copy of the game I want to give away, but I just got to point out the fact that I think it's important to spread the word about this game because of that. That is one of those things that uh, is unacceptable. 
I should, I, I know good people who like good games and they should know about this game. Then again, uh, prior to this weekend, I didn't know about this game, so shame on me as well. But I want that list to be full of people. I want to see everybody who I like to compete against in other games on this list. I want Light Jimmy on there. I want Brian Belita on there. I want everybody on my friends list to be playing this game so I can be comparing my scores to them. Because comparing your scores to your friends and beating them is just another way to make your EP grow, and God knows I need the extra inches. So let's try to go to another level here. Again, there's not a whole lot I can do to explain the systems of this game to you. I'm saying things like airstrike and all this sort of stuff, but it doesn't make that much sense to you. You really just need to play the game. And I'm, I'm again, I'm, I'm giving this game my highest recommendation. I mean, we're at whatever point, 30, you know, a third of the way through the video, two thirds of the way, God, you probably hope, you, hope I'm not a third of the way through, right? Uh, two thirds of the way through this video, and I'm already giving this game my absolute highest recommendation. Uh, you know, it currently has a position in the top five of my 2013 games of the year. And if it was 2012, it'd have a position in my top five on the 2012 games of the year. Uh, so, again, here's one of the things I was talking about earlier. It's giving you a splatter to start with. Maybe the splatter isn't the best splatter to start with. I don't know. Maybe you want to start with this guy over here. Maybe because you see this giant uh, green egg sack full of red uh, nodules and you want to free it. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to start with the red guy because I've had a lot of success starting with this guy. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, I'm, I'm sort of planning out my strategy before I start, as you probably should in a game like this, because winging it isn't necessarily going to do a whole lot for you. So what I want to do here is I want to jump down, my simple jump, into an airstrike. I want to airstrike around the hippopotamus's nose, grab that uh, grouping, that triangle of fireworks, and try to get rid of those first things. So that's what we're going to try here. I can say that, but can I do that? <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. So we're going to jump into an airstrike. We're going to go around the slide, get the bonus for using the slide. We're going to reverse ourselves up. We're going to come back around. Ooh, we're going to, oh, we're going to fail miserably at this. It does appear. Yeah, we, oh, oh we recovered it somehow. <laughs> oh my goodness. And just constantly flipping, um, <laughs> just to save the day there. So that didn't go really exactly as planned, but it went exactly as planned because we got rid of all of those reds in one foul swoop. And that's the kind of thing that's going to happen in this game. I, I was halfway through that. I was royally boned. I had made a poor decision about when to use my, uh, my slam. I was in trouble, but somehow managed to get it to come back around. And uh, you can't necessarily appreciate that as much as I'm appreciating it right now because you've not played this game. So get this game, play this game, and then watch that part of the video again and laugh along with me. So let's go ahead and get this started here. Let's get this red, uh, let's get these reds out of this green egg sack. Oh. Can we do it? Can we do it? Let's see. Nope. Yeah, we got a few there. So we got the reds mostly exposed. That's good. That's what we wanted. And we better, better though, we got those greens all grouped together. So now everything we need to finish off for the rest of this level is all grouped together right there. And that's what we really want. So uh, yeah, let's just finish this off pretty simply. We're going to do a slam. A slam is uh, something that just allows you to... Uh, blow up up upon impact uh, pretty much so we're gonna just blow our juice right away <laughs> with a slam this time not gonna slam going to tr oh can we please get that oh yeah so we've cleared all our greens so we have one green guy that we know we're not gonna need to use so that's good that's bonus points in our pocket all right so we need to clear these reds let's see if i can jump here and you can reposition yourself as you see there <laughs> reposition ourselves and then slam and do we get lucky we do not get lucky i was hoping to get lucky there uh, i got a little bit off when i did that reposition and we'll finish it off just like that with a dive bomb uh, slam whatever they call it and we'll have two guys left over again this is building points it's building score it's building views it's building stars it's building towards trophies hey that's what you do in this game it's all about score uh, I don't want to start with this guy. I want to start with someone different, just to try it out. I, it's not like I know anything in particular, but uh, yeah, I just want to try. And that was actually a mistake. Uh, I meant to uh, reconfigure myself there, and I didn't. So not exactly working out as planned. But we're going to go ahead and finish this level so we can finish this video. There we go, as much as we can, do as much as we can here. 
And that turned out better than expected. Nice. We got several stunts off of that. And uh, just all in all, a nice thing. We're going to use our slide. We're going to slide around. We're going to reverse ourselves. Then we're going to slam. And again, we're going to try to coat as many as we can. Yeah, so I'm using really just suboptimal play here. Just making, uh, making poor choices, as it were. We got our stars, so that's good. We're going to see if we can coat these last few. That's looking pretty good. Oh, we just missed a couple. Hmm. All right, so let's go over here. Let's do this guy. That really wasn't what I was trying to do at all. Here we go. That's more like it. And coat everything. Blow all those up. And then we can just finish off with this guy right here. And we're done. We leave one splatter at the end. And we're going to go fast, fast, fast. And you can link guys there. That was totally accidental. Uh, seems like it's going to work out kind of okay for us, though, in the end. Pretty all right there. Pretty all right. Used up two of my green guys to destroy the vast majority of the green that I had on the level there, so I can't complain a whole lot about that. Ooh, bad play there. Let's see what we can salvage. Eh, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, let's see. We've got our greens right here. And finish them off. Perfect. Perfect. Now, we did loose a couple of reds, three little reds there that are in a not great position, but we'll try to deal with that. Bring our slide around here. Try to coat as many of these as we can. Got them. All right. That was good. So we, we managed to salvage something there. Uh, now, this is going to be particularly difficult, I think. Indeed it was. But we managed to pull it off. And that's exactly what you've got in this game. That's what this game offers. Maybe you didn't understand or see what I was doing there. Uh, and not that I'm a skilled player or anything. But that actually happened how I planned it, believe it or not. Uh, that last part. The rest of it was shit. But the very last kill, the very last clear there, was exactly what I planned. Uh, and that's the kind of thing you can do in this game. Uh, so again, not a great ranking there. I've done better in the past. Uh, but again, Super Splatters. This is what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the, the great uh, fun of this game. Right, the ability to do what I just did, which was to take your fate into your own hands and through the tools at your disposal, actually recover from a very bad start. So the last thing we're going to look at real briefly... Splatter TV. Splatter TV actually allows you to take a look at the best of the best beating the level. So this is going to be, how did this guy do this? How did how did Hopson score 679,500 points on this? Well, let's take a look and let's see how he cleared the hippo. Blah, blah, blah. Tripping over my own words here. So we are going to get basically a move by move of how he cleared the game, how he cleared the level. So we'll see what he chooses to do. He, uh, If he chooses to start with this guy, he does. He's going to jump into a fling. He's going to fling himself over here to clear the greens. Oh, he's going to blow the... Okay. He's, so he's going to just blow the reds out of the middle there. Interesting. Oh, no, he didn't like that. So he's going to start over. So uh, take two. Hobson is going to start with this green guy. This green guy? No. This green guy? Yes. So he seems to be focusing on this uh, umbilical cord with uh, red egg sac uh, contents here. This seems to be his main... I think he's going to restart, and he restarts again. And this goes on and on, I'm sure. He'll eventually clear this level, and uh, there you go. And score his amazing, uh, however many points, 675,500 points. Uh, but this is a great feature because it allows you to see, like, how the hell did this guy score 1.16 million points on this? Well, this is how. You can see exactly how. And you can even look back at your own replays. It's a great system to have. It's a robust thing. I, you wouldn't expect this in a game like this, in a smaller game. Um, I don't know what the overhead on running something like this is, but I, I think it's great that they're doing it. Absolutely great. 
Uh, this is Splatters, uh, Super Splatter Sky. Guys, come on. I mean, it, it is a, a wonderful game. At 10 bucks. Look for it on sale if you must. I would definitely say that you need to purchase this game as soon as possible. I'm having an absolute blast at this game. I am going to give away a copy of this game. Uh, I haven't quite yet decided how, but there might be something appearing on your screen at the end of this video to reward those of you who actually watched this far that might actually uh, lead you towards the uh, the promised land of a free copy of Super Splatters. Those of you who don't win, go out right now and buy Super Splatters because this game needs to be seen. It needs to be played. I really, really love this game and I want to encourage developers who are making interesting and innovative games like this to continue to do that. So give your money to these guys. Please support their projects. Future, past, present, current, concurrent, parallel, Parallax, everything. Help these guys out. Uh, Spiky Snail, they're based out of Israel. Uh, they seem like a great group of guys. Please do what you can uh, to support quality indie developers who are making amazing games like this. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.